Daniel Daniel 9. In the first year of Daravaish, the son of Achashvorosh, of the seed of, Mada, of the Madai, which was made king over the realm of the Kazdim, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by the Sepharim, the number of the years, whereof the word of Yahuwah came to Yahu the prophet, that he would accomplish seventy years in the desolations of Yerushalayim. And I set it at my face unto El Adonai Elohim, to seek by prayer and supplications, with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto Yahuwah Elohai, and made my confession, and said, O Adonai, the great and dreadful El, guarding the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that guard his commandments, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from your precepts and from your judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto your servants, the prophets, which spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. O Adonai, righteousness belongs unto you, but unto us confusion of faces as at this day. To the men of Yahudah, and to the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, and unto all Yashadael that are near and that are far off, through all the countries whither you have driven them, because of their transgression that they have transgressed against you. O Adonai, to us belongs confusion of face, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against you. To Adonai Eloheinu belong mercies and forgivenesses, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of Yahuwah Eloheinu to walk in his Torah, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yea, all Yashadael have transgressed at your Torah, even by departing that they might not obey your voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the Torah of Moshe, the servant of Elohim, because we have sinned against him. And he has confirmed at his words, which he spoke against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven has not been done as has been done upon Yerushalayim. As it is written in the Torah of Moshe, hath all this evil is come upon us. Yet made we not our prayer hath before Yahuwah Eloheinu, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand your truth. Therefore has Yahuwah watched upon the evil and brought it upon us. For Yahuwah Eloheinu is righteous in all his works, which he does, for we obeyed not his voice. And now, O Adonai Eloheinu, that has brought at your people forth out of the land of Mitzrayim with a mighty hand and has gotten you renown as at this day, we have sinned, we have done wickedly. O Adonai, according to all your righteousness, I beseech you, let your anger and your fury be turned away from your city, Yerushalayim, your holy mountain, because for our sins and for the iniquities of our fathers, Yerushalayim and your people are become a reproach to all that are about us. Now therefore, O our Elohim, 
Hear the prayer of your servant and his supplications and cause your face to shine upon your sanctuary that is desolate for Adonai's sake. O my Elohim, incline your ear and hear. Open your eyes and behold our desolations and the city which is called by your name. For we do not present our supplications before you for our righteousnesses, but for your great mercies. O Adonai, hear. O Adonai, forgive. O Adonai, hearken and do. Defer not for your own sake, O my Elohim. For your city and your people are called by your name. And while I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people, Yashadael, and presenting my supplication before Yahuwah Elohai for the holy mountain of my Elohim, yea, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gavriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. And he informed me and talked with me and said, O Daniel, I am now come forth to give you skill and understanding. At the beginning of your supplications, the word came forth, and I came to show you, for you are greatly beloved. Therefore understand the matter and consider the vision for seventy Shavuah. The people are cut off from the holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the Holy of Holies. Now, therefore, and understand, rather, know, therefore, and understand from the going forth of the word to return and to build Yerushalayim until Hamashiach, the prince, is seven Shavuah and threescore and two Shavuah. Return and build the wide place with eagerness in troublous times. And after threescore and two Shavuah, Mashiach is cut off, but nothing of holy city is ruined. And the people of the prince to come thereafter shall conquer until the war is decided with devastation. And the greatness of the covenant multiplies for one Shavuah. And in the middle of the Shavuah, the sacrifice and oblation cease, and the overspreading of abominations makes it desolate, even until the consummation is determined and poured over the desolation. <laughs> 